Hey everyone, I'm Joel on the road and today my UNESCO World Heritage Journey is coming to you from the Alto Douro wine growing region in northeastern Portugal. Now the Douro River that you can see behind me flows all the way from here from the valley into the city of Porto and wine has been grown in this area since the Roman era 2000 years ago. They brought the grapes and the expertise across from Italy. And it grows really well here because it's a Mediterranean microclimate. The big hills stop the, uh, the cold winds from the Atlantic and it means that it's, it's a lot warmer and a lot drier than the rest of the country. So it's really good for growing grapes and olives and all those Mediterranean fruits that we think of. Now the wine region isn't listed for its natural beauty, although it is very beautiful. It's really listed because of what humans have done to it to make it even more beautiful. The very poor soil in the area and the lack of available space for growing crops meant that people had to come up with innovative solutions to be able to feed their families and make crops for export. And this is what they've done and how beautiful is that? This region is home to Portugal's most famous export, port wine, which is actually a protected mark. Just like with champagne, if your fortified wine isn't produced in this area, you're not allowed to call it port. Now port is an after dinner wine. It's very sweet, a little bit sticky, and it's absolutely delicious. And I cannot wait to try some of the local varieties. It's been a fantastic few days here in the Altadura wine growing region. We've sampled quite a bit of the local product and I'm happy to report that it is absolutely delicious. So I'm Joel on the road. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment. Uh, and until the next World Heritage site, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.